Once we've set our channels and our non-intensity parameters into a position we want to be able to get back to later, we can record that into a queue. A series of queues in a list is called a queue list, and we can play those back sequentially. Let's go ahead and record our first queue. We'll begin with a blank stage, so we're going to clear sneak enter. Once that's complete, we're going to bring up group one to full. Group one, full, enter. And we're going to record this as Q1. Record, Q1, enter. You'll see in our playback status display that Q1 has appeared there with the default time of five. Let's record our next Q. Group two, minus eight, minus nine, at 80, enter. And we'll record that as Q2. All right, now let's take out channels one and three. One and three out. And let's bring up 21 through 26 to 50%. And now we're gonna record using a shortcut. I can use the next button. You'll notice it puts Q3 on the command line for us. Press enter. Since I've been using whole numbers, it's going to assume that I want the next Q to also be a whole number. If I was recording a point Q, such as 2.1, and I press next, it would assume that I wanted 2.2 to be the next Q. It will also give us a warning anytime that we are about to record over a Q. We'll have to press enter again to confirm that or press clear if we didn't mean to do that. 